Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How many hearings for child custody? Child custody hearings can be a complex and multi-step process involving several stages before a final decision is made. Initial conference or hearing. The process often begins with an initial conference or hearing where the court addresses immediate concerns such as temporary custody, visitation, and other logistical arrangements. This hearing is crucial for setting the stage for further proceedings. Tash Tash Settlement Conference. Following the initial hearing, a settlement conference may be scheduled. During this conference, the parties and their attorneys discuss remaining issues to determine if a settlement can be reached without going to trial. If issues are resolvable, another conference date may be set, otherwise the case proceeds to trial. Trial or evidentiary hearing. If the case cannot be settled, it will proceed to a trial or evidentiary hearing. Here, both parties present evidence, including their own testimony, testimony from other witnesses, and documentary evidence. The court considers all the evidence under the best interests of the child analysis to make a final decision. Potential additional hearings. In some cases, additional hearings may be necessary, such as a Lincoln hearing where the child testifies without parental presence or hearings to address specific issues like supervised visitation or home studies. Final decision. After all evidence is presented and considered, the court makes a written decision outlining custody and visitation rights. This decision typically concludes the case unless there are grounds for an appeal. Duration and complexity. The number of hearings can vary based on the complexity of the case and the ability of the parties to reach an agreement. Some cases may be resolved quickly with just one or two hearings, while others may require multiple hearings over several months. Preparation and representation. Throughout these hearings, it is highly recommended to have an experienced child custody lawyer to guide you through the process, prepare you for court, and help present your case effectively. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.